So this is uh, where I've gotten so far on the 2020 version of the Lightwood Games Christmas card. Our friends at Lightwood Games uh, who make uh, word games, like little Pauggy word games. They make these puzzle Christmas cards. Last year they had us beta test their card and I managed to solve it. This one, getting kind of stuck. This is where we've gotten so far. So spoiler alert if you're working on uh, this card. So it starts with these uh, weird titles which are obviously uh, Christmas songs that have one word that's a homophone like Silent Night and the first Noel they have there. I've got we got the rest of these on our own. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Whee! Three Kings away in a major sleigh ride jingle bells and then we looked up a bunch of Christmas songs to try to get the ones we couldn't figure out. We managed Ding Dong Mary Lee on High uh, I think that's a Lightwood Games being a, being a, in Britain. They probably have a lot of songs that maybe aren't as familiar in, in the United States. Uh, but the rest of these, a few of these, haven't haven't no figure out for the life of me. So those are the letters: Iron Brick Kong, Rosy Sheep Sight Here, a Beanie Beast, I Live in Tone Shame, and I Think a Grin Wheel. And we we've, we've gone through these like Google the Christmas song title of Christmas songs. Try to come up with something that might fit. I cannot figure anything out. Um, I don't know. There may be probably a significance to the numbers of, you know, supposedly playlist times. And the ignore chorus is probably significant. Uh, the one thing that came obvious was the URL down there. 12b456z.com, which comes up with a picture of uh, snowflakes that are made out of letters. So I made a cheat sheet for those. And those obviously relate to these symbols that are seen throughout the card. Um, I tried this in different directions and the one thing I get here is N-E word in that direction which is almost one word because this, this page has two one word puzzles first and second. And Okay, this side we have so I pick cross top colors, or pick a picks as they call it. And it says that one plus that one minus that one equals that one. The result is 5347 or L S E H. I'm not sure what the significance of that is yet either. And there's Morse code on the back, which says look for three fold lines. And so obviously I noticed right away these lines along the word first and second on the one word puzzles. But folding along those lines didn't really accomplish anything other than it put that symbol next to the, the NE word, which comes up with the word version with red in that direction. Okay. That doesn't seem to make any sense. Um, there is also, of course, these threes on the side here. And there are three places where the threes are doubled up there, but folding along those lines doesn't seem to accomplish anything either. And on this side, you get link colon VD or re colon link. On the side, link colon IS or un colon link. Okay. We haven't been able to figure that out either. Let's. I thought it may be like clicking on the, on the snowflakes on the website that has these letters, but that website is just a picture. Looked at the source code and saw their little clever, the little message saying there's nothing here. <laughs> so that is as far as I've gotten. I'm guessing we need to figure out the rest of these titles, to figure out the rest of the, the rest of the card. And. This one's got me stumped. The last one, each puzzle sort of led, last year's puzzle, each puzzle sort of led into the last puzzle and you had to cut things and move things around and and you had to click on certain things on the web page. And once you figured out the URL, after Googling all these interesting geographical locations. So that's as far as I've gotten so far on this year's Christmas puzzle. It's fun though.